Alrighty, MySQL Tuner 1.0 was developed by Major Hayden to be a quick sanity check of databases. It checks memory usage if you're on a 64-bit architecture, table size, status, and system variables. It does calculations like percent of temp disk tables, and then it makes recommendations, not all of which were relevant. Another problem was that it hard-coded everything, what to check, the threshold, and the recommendation. I started modifying MySQL Tuner to be completely offline using files, and then I realized that what I really wanted was something where I could easily change what's checked, the thresholds, and what the recommendation said. MySQL Tuner 2.0 is uh, written in Perl. It works by storing information into a key value hash. Then it parses a config file, which has the calculations, the thresholds, and the output. Right now, the keys are the variable names from show global variables and show global status, but the keys can be anything limited only by what you can code in Perl and by what I can code in Perl. You can get key value pairs from files for a completely offline mode. In the future, MySQL Tuner can be coded to get information both from files and the database. I haven't changed how MySQL Tuner logs into MySQL, so it should in fact work on all platforms that MySQL Tuner 1.0 works on. In the config file, comment starts with a hash, and each line is broken into four fields. The part in red is the expression, the blue part is the comparison operator and value. There's also the label and the output if the comparison matches, and the dash dash recommend option is used. The label and the value of the expression are always printed out. MySQL Tuner compares each word in the expression to the keys in the key value hash and replaces matching keys with their values. This is the line in the actual config file for per percent of slow queries. We can write readable expressions and Perl matching does the hard work. So be careful about what keys you put into the hash and be careful not to overwrite existing keys. Um, in the next example we'll see on the next slide, MySQL Tuner will show the output too many slow queries if the percent of slow queries is greater than five and the recommend option is set. The comparison and expressions are Perl expressions, so you can use any function and operator you want, like the substring function, and we should be on the next slide because you went back two. That's okay. See, substring right there. Um, it's all good. You thought I wasn't even watching that, didn't you? <laughs> MySQL Tuner 2.0 has kept the functions written in the first version. We can go to the next slide. Pretty uptime is self-explanatory. HR means human readable, HR num makes a large number readable, and HR bytes shows a value in gigabytes, megabytes, etc. I added a function called HR buy time, which takes a value per second and makes it readable. If it's less than one, it's converted to a value per minute, per hour, per day, whatever. 0.078 slow queries per second is hard to understand, but 4.69 slow queries per minute makes much more sense. Here's an example of rate of sorting causing temporary tables. We divide sort merge passes by uptime since flush, flush status to get the per second value, and then we pass that to HR by time. If either second or minute appears in the result, the recommendation will be increase some system variables. What if you want to see the values of the system variables themselves? Here's an example. Pass sort buffer size to the HR bytes function. The nature of MySQL tuner is to check against the threshold, so I gave it a bogus check, and then a bogus result if the check doesn't work. By default, the output prints in pretty format. Um, we're going to see a line in about a second about what the output looks like, there you go, in CSV format. The dash dash output command makes it easy to plug in a new out output method. In the future, I plan to code it so that the output can go into a database table. Again, the limits what can be coded into Perl. We're going to see some sample output of MySQL Tuner 1.0.1, the older version. Note that it's nicely formatted. There's a bunch of groups. The formula for determining fragmentation, by the way, is not actually accurate, so it's not in MySQL Tuner 2.0. That's the storage engine statistics group. We see lots of percentage checks, but those aren't always helpful. We're going to see in about a second some MySQL Tuner 2.0 output. But there you go. The command used at the top is very simple. It states what config file to use, the username and password for the database, and yes, print out recommendations at the end. The sort rows entry in the right-hand column shows a value created by the HR by time function. It's going to appear in bold in about a second. This is lots of information. Um, it's certainly easy enough to remove some of the checks from the config file or add new ones in. Um, the bottom, which is going to be on the next slide, has the recommendations. They're actually worded more carefully than the original My MySQL tuner. I'm sorry if you can't really read that. And I hope they're actually more helpful. Of course, you can always edit what the recommendation says. Like all software, MySQL Tuner 2.0 is not perfect. Ideally, the output could have groups like the first version. It's possible, it just hasn't been coded yet. You can only check one expression at a time, but the expression and comparison are all Perl, so you can do complex tests like check if the result matches anything in a list. There isn't really a lot of logic flow, so it's hard to have tests like, hey, if the query caches off, you know, don't check the size and efficiency. I think having groups would make that much more easy to implement. And it's not a DBA in a box. You still need to know what the numbers mean. This just saves you some math. Um, the README file shows you not only the options, but typical use cases, which are shown in italics. The flags themselves are shown in bold. 
The dash dash help option is a good way to see the available flags as well. The name MySQL Tuner is used with permission from Major Hayden. Also, he seems to no longer be working on MySQL Tuner due to lack of time. So I guess I'm maintaining it now. Here's how to get it. MySQL Tuner 2.0 is available on Launchpad, and I encourage people to give feedback, submit bug reports, and of course, submit code patches. Thanks very much.